Hey guys, what's going on? This is Justin from DynamiteHitting.com and today I have a great video planned for you and we're going to be talking about visualization and how and why you need to be doing it. So first for the why, I guarantee that if you used the power of visualization properly in your game, you know, before games, when you go to sleep, when you wake up in the morning, if you could harness the power of visualization, I guarantee that you can absolutely skyrocket your results. If you were hitting 250 last year, just using this can boost your average. Um, just using this technique can get your mind right to be able to hit for more power and overall just live a better life. This isn't just for baseball. This is about becoming the absolute absolute best version of yourself that you can be and I think visualization can help you do that. Whether you want to make more money or whether you want to get that job that you're nervous for, that you have an interview for tomorrow, you know, you can go to bed right before you go to sleep. You can sit down on your pillow and think exactly through what kind of questions the manager might ask you and how you're going to reply, you know, the look on your face, the look on his face, um, the way that you're dressed, the way he's dressed. You can visualize absolutely everything. Thing. And then all once you actually go do the interview, a lot of the stress and the pressure is just going to drop. Your heart rate's going to slow down a little bit, and you're going to be more in the zone and relaxed than you would be if you didn't visualize and you didn't really know what to expect. So I firmly believe in the quote, if you can see it, then you will achieve it. You know, the mind can achieve what the mind can conceive. And in order to get the most out of visualization, so I think you understand that um, this is very, very powerful stuff. A lot of big leaguers, you can watch videos on YouTube and hear interviews, and they'll say that they really took their game to the next level when, one, they upgraded their mental game. So their mental plan and approach, which we talk about a lot, was just on point. And um, then they actually upgraded themselves through the power of visualization. So... Um, here's just a little tip in order to get the most out of visualization. I see a lot of people that they say, yeah, you know, yeah, I visualize on deck or on the way to the game. I think about, yeah, I'm going to hit a, I'm going to hit a bomb today. Well, that's not really visualizing. And even if you think that you're visualizing now, it can always get a little bit better. If you lay down your head on your pillow at night and you try to think about tomorrow's game, one thing that you can really do to boost your performance and take that visualization really to the next level is to use your five senses. Don't just use one or two of them. Uh, this is a this is a big thing. You know, I do it. We all do it. But if you can incorporate more, four or five of the senses, just more of the senses, you're going to get a better overall picture of what the event is actually going to be like. So, for example. Uh, summer ball is coming up for me here pretty soon, and I played in the same league at the same stadium uh, last year. So I already kind of know what to expect. So if I was going to be playing a game there tomorrow, and I was going to take myself through a little visualization process, instead of just thinking about what the field and the stadium and the other team and the pitcher and the ball, what it looks like, I can think about the sounds that I'm going to hear. You know, it's a complex, so we have the uh, we have the biggest field with the with the grandstands and stuff, and then there's some little league fields around there. So obviously during our game, you're going to hear some other aluminum bats and some cheers and things like that. So I'm using my my ears. Um, obviously, I'm going to see the green grass and all the the banners on the outfield wall and the big grandstands. Another thing I'm going to be able to hear is the announcer's voice. And I can even incorporate, you know, smells. I can incorporate, they have a, a, a big old snack shack there, and it always smells delicious. So I can I can think about what that's going to smell like. Um, I can think about how my bat's going to feel in my hands and how it's going to feel when, when I finally make contact with the ball. Maybe the only thing that you can't... Um, visualize really is how things may taste and maybe maybe you can maybe you can you know you can taste the gum in your mouth or the the seeds or whatever but really try to incorporate those five senses and I think that's going to take you to the next level so what I want you to think about now um, is do you remember a time a specific time when you were just absolutely locked in the zone and maybe you just hit a double or a home run and after you round the bases you get back in the dugout and you're like man that was great if I could just do that every time you know what, what was my mental approach what was I thinking about and then when you think about that question 
you really realized that you weren't thinking about anything at all. It was like your mind was completely clear. And I I know you've probably seen a ball get pretty much as big as a beach ball. That's the way it looks. And your mind is completely clear. You're in the zone. It's a zen-like feeling where you're just completely locked in, laser focused, and in the zone. And obviously great results occur from that. So a way that you can get in that zone a little bit more often is through this visualization. So sit down. What I recommend you do is if you're if you're trying to take your visualization to the next level, first of all, when you wake up every morning, you know, take two or three minutes. This doesn't have to be an hour long or 20 minutes. Take just a couple minutes and sit down. If you have a game that day, you wake up and you think about that game. And take things one day at a time. If you have practice and practice for the next three days and then a game this weekend, you can take a little time to think about the game, but think about what you're going to get done at practice and how that's going to go and how your BP rounds are going to go, you know, working up the middle and the opposite field. And I think that'll really help you. So take it one day at a time. When you wake up in the morning, spend two or three minutes really just visualizing what's going to happen, the sights, the sounds, the smells, you making contact with the ball. And then, um, so you can do that in the morning and then you can also do that at nighttime right before you go to bed. I recommend just going to a quiet place. That's why I recommend as soon as you wake up and as soon as you're about to go to bed because it's quiet, you know, dark. You can really just be you and your thoughts. And then when you're driving to the game, maybe you can think about that. Um, and then when you're in the on deck circle, what I want you to do, I, I see so many guys just take hack after hack after hack and you know, you should have taken batting practice, taken a bunch of swings beforehand to get yourself ready. So you shouldn't have to really take a hundred hacks in the on deck circle. That should be about timing the pitcher. I t I've talked about that before. It should be basically like a free at bat where you're timing the pitcher up and you're getting, uh, you're getting fastball ready and then seeing what other pitches he's got, he's got and probably how he's going to throw you. So that's something that you can do in the on deck circle. And then I want you to take a couple deep breaths slow that heart rate down and I want you to think about success that you've had in baseball in the past. Whether it was a double that got over the center fielder's head or a ball down the line or maybe it was a monster home run, whatever the case may be, I want you to think about success. If you think the guy's going to throw you nothing but curveballs, maybe you have you remember one particular at bat from a year or two ago where you absolutely just were fastball ready but you stayed on the curveball really, really well and drove it to right field or drove it right back up the middle. So I want you to think positive thoughts right before you walk up to the plate. You know, Take a couple aggressive hacks to get loose, get your body warmed up, uh, make sure your timing is right with the pitcher, and then it's time to visualize and think about success. Look guys, you can't be afraid to fail. If you're afraid to fail and you're thinking about failure, then it's gonna be more likely to happen. So hopefully this has helped you. Like I said, when you wake up in the morning, visualize. Before you go to bed, visualize. And in the on deck circle, maybe before the game, you know, just get your mind right. If you take, I guarantee, if you take your visualization and your mental game to the next level, then you're going to take your skills and yourself to the next level as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Feel free if you have to subscribe and like this video and share it with your teammates, your friends. I know there's going to be some some parents, some coaches watching this, so send it around. You can forward it in an email or share it right below. There's a bunch of share links. So make sure you spread this around because I think this is really, it needs to get out into the baseball community, okay? And also, if you have not done so, make sure you go to dynamitehitting.com. There I'm actually giving away a free bat speed video. You can go there right now. All I need is your email address. And then you're going to be immediately taken to a page with a video on it. And it's only you know a few minutes long. But I'm going to share with you one simple trick that you can implement right now today to increase your bat speed 5, 10 miles an hour. Okay, so a lot of guys have loved it. Um, I'm getting incredible feedback from players on that. And also on dynamitehitting.com, you can check out my full two-hour HD video training course. And you, you might have heard of that before. If not, make sure you check it out. But look, I know how you feel. You might be a little skeptical about the Dynamite Hitting course. And actually, many of the players that are currently um, being taught by me and instructed by me have felt the same way before they actually purchased it. So don't worry if you're a little skeptical. It's obviously natural. But what almost all of my players have found 
is that this video course has helped them tremendously with their mechanics, their confidence, and probably the most important aspect of it all, the mental game and the approach that we're talking about. So if you want to hit for a higher average, if you want to hit for more power, if you want to feel more confident at the plate, you know, have a better mental plan and approach to each and every single at bat, and just bottom line, overall boost your baseball success, then Dynamite Hitting is for you. So make sure you check it out, the full course, dynamitehitting.com slash main. That's dynamitehitting.com slash main. And grab that free bat speed video now and follow me on all the social media links, all right? Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video here soon.